are live. Hi everybody, welcome to the Sisters Interview. Uh, happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday, right? It is Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. <laughs> Time is completely warped this week. Um, we are super excited to have Haldora, I don't know how to say the last name, Reefer? Ref, yeah. ref. It's like Reefer or Rafer. It might be Rafer. Okay. Like a vanilla wafer or or maybe reefer madness. We're not sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going for reefer madness. Yeah. I can only think about it like because like like I said, like I was telling you guys, like when we found it, I was like, is it like 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 rafer or reefer? Like drugs? What? I don't know. <laughs> I know it means fox though. That oh, much I know. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Foxy. Yes. That's awesome. So uh, we usually start off uh, asking what your SCA origin story is. Uh, you my remember mom, your yeah. first SCA yeah. event? <laughs> I was five Aww. and it was Ursulmus 1996. Wow. And we, my mom, <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> wow, you're went, making me feel very old. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we went to, we went to Ursulmus and that's all I really remember is that we were at Ursula Miss and I was dressed up and I was just like, what are we doing? <laughs> this is was pretty cool fun, though. Was it fun for you? Like what attracted your attention? The dressing up and the pageantry. I've, I'm a drama queen. So pageantry is like my favorite thing. So awesome. yeah, like I've, I've always liked the pageantry and all the different costumes and I feel like there was a lot more like singing and dancing back in the 90s, like just kind of all around, like all over the place and not just at like at nighttime and at bardic circles and feasts and stuff. I feel like I saw a lot more dancing and, sing and singing more often and I liked that. I think we need to bring back sea shanties. <laughs> yes, I like sea shanties. Well, it's fun and, and nobody does it anymore. And if you think back like to like summer camp when you're a kid, the funnest part was like singing around the fire right yeah yeah i only i didn't go to summer camp so you went to SCA went, camp <laughs> yeah i went to sca camp <laughs> I, mean, I went to a camp like once in like the fifth grade but it was only for like the weekend and it was in the middle of october oh cold so after ursulmus um did your mom enjoy it too did you guys go and become regular like like how immersed did you get in right away yeah, my mom is also a member of the SCA. She's Samira Alwadi. Um, I think she's a she's a something with with arts and sciences. I can't think of what it is all all of a sudden. Jean? No, like an officer. A, a golden swan. Golden swan. Yeah, is that a thing? Yeah. Yeah. Totally a thing. It's like yeah, a she's one of those. thing. Yeah. So she's one of those. That's for, cool. for, for yeah for persona stuff. But, so, so for anyone who doesn't know what that is, that's a, uh, a persona based event where you spend it's women, female personas only. Uh, I didn't know that. And uh, yeah, because Sir Antonio did it um, and is a golden swan, but he did it as a as a Antonia. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And I didn't know uh, it was a female only thing. Yeah, it's a uh, it, it's a weekend long thing that you spend uh, your time completely in persona, which is kind of the next level yeah i'm not sure i've spent even like half of an event in persona so <laughs> did you, i've never did been you, to it um polidora did you get that from your mom like is persona development something you're into not really i don't know why it's just but i just like the dressing up i haven't really delved very far into my persona <laughs> So, um, like she said, after Ursulmus, um, just lots of summer events. I mean, what was your favorite thing about eventing as a kid? I made I made a friend and saw her every summer. And then her dad actually used to work with my mom. So I'd see them a lot of weekends. We didn't have events, too. 
and she was also like a bridesmaid at me and George's wedding. So I really liked making friends and having friends to play with all summer and keep in contact with even not during the summer. And I get to go and talk about my cool, the cool thing I did during the summer at school and everybody like, yeah, you're nuts. And then I'd bring pictures and I'm like, oh, you actually did do that. <laughs> You didn't. You were. You did go dress up as a princess this summer. Oh yeah, you. Yeah, you did. You didn't make that up. <laughs> it was all real. <laughs> yeah, this really happened. <laughs> and, and did things change for you as a as a teenager growing up? No, I've always loved it. Like, and it was even a part of like my senior project. In order to like graduate, I had to like talk about during. You, when you when you're doing your senior your senior project you have to like talk about certain things that like influence your life growing up and like into your adulthood and SCA was part of my senior project and I had like a bunch of pictures of George and there's actually a picture I wish I had it because I would have given it to Misty because I can't I, I tried to find it I couldn't find it I actually have a picture of me and Tiernan and Miranda during one of their reigns because there was an event at my school i think it was a ans event of some kind that my school happened to be the site for oh awesome so i had a, a picture of them and me underneath our school banner <laughs> I was gonna say, and, did you guys go to your locker no <laughs> we could have though because we were in the right building but the hallway was i think locked so i was like let's go to my band locker but we didn't go <laughs> That's awesome. Are you a band kid? Yes, I am. What did you play? I played the flute. Me too. Yay. <laughs> Random trivia questions. Yeah. <laughs> Have you brought music into the SCA or? No. No. I don't really play the flute anymore. You I don't bring a, a random recorder to an event no. and run around? <laughs> no. My kid has an ocarina though. Maybe I'll learn to play that. That would be super cool. I think you should like get the bash boys together and start a band yeah well they've got a they've got a disc golf team right now so that's priorities that's what, that's what george is into right now <laughs> <clears throat> what um scamp would like to know uh what keeps you curious and coming back uh, i've made a lot of friends so like and they're like more than friends they're like family now so if I want to see my family, I kind of got to go to events to see them because they're busy a lot of weekends at these events. <laughs> <laughs> and and I like, and I'm not to brag, but I look really cute. So I like to get dressed up on the weekends and come hang out with you guys. Because <laughs> not to brag, but I look really cute in my Norse garb that my husband made me. Oh. So speaking of your husband, um, you mentioned him for your senior project, did the two of you meet in high school? I met him while I was in high school at an event. We didn't actually go to high school together. I met him at a Midhaven event when I was 15 and was like, that guy's really cute. <laughs> I'm gonna go bug him and flirt with him, hardcore. And I did, relentlessly for many years. <laughs> Not many years, three years. I even oh. flirted with him when he had a girlfriend. Because so I was like, I don't care. He? He's cute. He's mine. What? How old was he? He was 15 too. We're the same age. We're two months apart. Very cool. Yeah. So okay. his parents were playing too? I I think he, he, start, he, went, he started because his sister took him to an event. Mm -hmm. And then I think his parents did like a little bit, but they didn't like really leave Whatcom County. They would just kind of go to events when they were there in there in that county but they didn't really travel for events but mostly he went to events with uh with sir thorkel so awesome yeah and, and where do you guys play now where do you guys live and, and what kind of group do you play with mostly so we live in aquaterra but we don't really go to aquaterra events except like Ursulmus. Otherwise, we mostly travel to all the Crown events or Storm Strongguard. But we don't really do a lot of the 
Aquaterra events. I don't know why, we just don't. Do you go up to Tiri a lot? I guess we do sometimes, but not all the time. Otherwise, we mostly just kind of go wherever May Crown or where September Crown is going to be and Coronation and stuff like that. <clears throat> Following the kingdom level yeah. action. Someone so, asks, where's your mom? Oh my god. I know exactly probably, who that is. So just Probably them. somewhere <laughs> watching watching this interview. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Should, should we do it? Hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, she's having a watch party at her house. Oh, that's really. And not cool. like a Zoom one, like an in person one. And they're all over there, probably like, woo. <laughs> they're probably like, like casting to their big screen TV. Exactly. You're seeing your beautiful makeup there on the big screen. Nice. <laughs> so can we go back to you playing as a teenager because I'm super interested in that because I have a really hard time getting my teenager to get interested and I'm just wondering what was it about the SCA when you were a teenager that kept you engaged? I'm a drama queen so it was mostly the fantasy but I just I get to go dress up and be a princess for the weekend and just get lost in a medieval fantasy land. And I was fencing at the time. So I was doing quite a bit of that as well because um, you can get carded, I think, a little bit younger when you're fencing than you can with heavy fighting. Okay. So I think I was carded at like 14, I believe. So I was, I, and I fenced until I was like 16 and then I kind of lost interest in it. I don't know why, I just did. And chased George around. <laughs> <laughs> Your in interest shifted. Yes. yes, I guess my interest shifted <laughs> from fencing <laughs> to boy. <laughs> so yeah. When you did fencing, did you have a mentor? Yeah, it was actually my husband's sister. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't know they were related when she was my fencing instructor for a while. So it, it's uh, Misia Raposa, I think is how she says her last name. I'm not sure. But yeah, but yeah, his sister, Misia, was my fencing teacher. And then I found out a couple of years, like a year after I stopped fencing, that they were brother and sister. And I was just like, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like, I, I liked I liked fencing. It was something to do. And I only did like one weekend of tourneys, and that was at Ursulmus. And I don't know why I didn't do any others. I just didn't. Do you like competition or not really? It depends on how I'm feeling. <laughs> sometimes I'm like, yeah, I'm going to kick your ass. And sometimes I'm like, I don't feel like it. But I, but yeah, I was, I was pretty okay at it for being the youngest and tiniest person on, on the field. I killed a lot of people who they're like, wow, I can't believe she killed that guy. <laughs> like, teenager. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I killed everybody at our Everett practice and they were all just like seriously you suck <laughs> <laughs> you're at your where's your mom guy says uh, you were 16 when you got your card what he says he says it was 16 I don't know oh. what that means but he says oh, it was 16 I could have swore I was 14 maybe I started when I was 14 and then I got carded at 16 so maybe I was like fighting for like <clears throat> two years at practice or something very cool. Who was making all of your cool princess clothes and outfits that you felt so pretty in? My mom's ex-husband. That's right. all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. Yeah. So, so men sewing in your family is a thing. I Apparently. That's kind of yeah, cool. I guess. That is cool. I guess it did go from my mom's ex-husband to my husband. That is interesting. I do have one I do have one apron that Misty made though. No wait. Misty used to have it, but Inga made it, I guess. Yeah, 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 Inga made it. Yeah. You made you made all the pretty things on my on my on my panel though. Yeah, I've I've, I've done a couple of panels for you. Yeah. My matching one with George and all the decorations on this one. I love to do panels. Oh yes, I love this panel so much. <laughs> 
I'm not saying she has a problem, but it's a good problem. <laughs> really, I, problem. I didn't even know that George had got it out of the house because Drifa wove it, and then Rifkin put all the stuff on it, and it came in the mail one day. And I was like, "Did I leave this somewhere?" <laughs> and then I unfolded it to like check it to put it away. I was like, "Oh, somebody decorated it." <laughs> You guys do sweet things for each other. It's very, very sweet. Yeah. So how long did you uh, to get to play as a couple before uh, kids came into the into the scene? Like six years. Six or seven years. We've been to we've been a couple since 2009. And we had Christian in 2016. So, yeah good like six or seven years awesome awesome so yeah what um and when it, oh my god I'm so sorry <laughs> 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 yeah pretty much <laughs> so in, in addition to um rapier um what were some of the other things that you like to do and that you've carried on i did rapier I've done a little bit of arts and sciences. I've done a little bit of Bardic. And now I'm mostly just into the into the um, lady in waiting stuff when people that I like are king and queen. Very cool. What's your favorite thing about that? About which? The being, lady, being waiting a lady in waiting, yeah. So I wasn't really friends with Sabrick and Dala, their first reign. I was uh kind of thrown into their reign in a in a in a loving way it was a i'm bored and miss my friends and arnstern said okay you're gonna serve on this reign and i said okay and so like i met a lot of people who i didn't really hang out with before when i was on that reign so one thing about serving on reigns is that i like a lot is meeting new people and making new friends yeah. It's one of the best ways to do that. Yeah. Like, I didn't even know um, Christian and Helen all that well, and George did, and I got to know them better during their reign as prince and princess in, in Thierry, because they needed people, and I was just like, George is helping, so I guess I'll help out too. <laughs> so I got to know them better on their reign as prince and princess, and then I got to know Savrick and Dala, and they're wonderful people wonderful people <laughs> and met people on their reign who I'd never really hung out with before and learned that they're great people and now I'm friends with them awesome is there a part of the lady in waiting role that you like best like do you like organizing scrolls or do you like um like being a cupbearer or hanging out I kind of like hanging out, getting to like stand behind the thrones during court and see all the cool stuff up close. <laughs> like I get to see your nighting scroll before you saw your nighting scroll. And I got to like look at it before it went away. <laughs> that part's pretty cool. And just being up there during like a nighting or whatever is pretty cool. Being able to hear everything is is pretty yes, special. Yes, to like actually be able to hear the herald. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping in the future that uh, maybe we can get like a little Bluetooth speaker and a mic going and just just like kind of put it under somebody's chair, like in the middle of the audience, just to kind of you know very subtly amplify <laughs> what's going on in yeah, court. Yeah, like I feel like that could be easily done, right? Like, cause they make like little portable Bluetooth speakers now. Okay. You just like, and then you can just make a little, like get a little Bluetooth mic that you can just like easily hide in all of this freaking jewelry. I was going to say, you could even just hang it from the ceiling of the Royal Pavilion. And then, you know, that's true. you wouldn't hear people hearing their throat or whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you could duct tape it underneath a bench in the middle of the audience and nobody would ever see it. Yeah. They would just hear better. <laughs> Strategic benches. How, how many reigns have you done retinue for? Well, let's see. Let's count my knots. <laughs> Even though that doesn't count because I don't have a knot from every reign. I've done. I did Savrick and Dallas first one. Both 
of Eric and Drafina's. Um, I only really did Christian and Helene's first King and Queen's reign because I was pregnant, their second reign. And they're still in their like third one. And their third one has been going on during the pandemic. So I haven't really been a part of it at all, obviously. <laughs> you were pregnant during that one too, right? Yeah, that's true. I was technically pregnant in this two year reign. <laughs> wow, it is pouring right now. That's crazy. It just started pouring here, hardcore. I don't even know if, I'm not sure if you can hear it. I can't. There might be too much other noise going on, but it just started raining so hard. I think it might be hailing. That's awesome. And then, yeah, so Fabric and Dallas first reign, both Eric and Jafina's, Christian and Helene's first reign, and then their principality reign. I feel like there's one more. That's okay. I did. I, I sort of, kind of did some retinue for Arnsburn and Inga while they were king and queen in Avacal. Like while they were traveling, I, I did, would do do some here and there while they were here. And then, I I did two other king and queens of Avacal when they came down for an event. And for whatever reason. I can see their faces, but I can't think of their names, and now I feel really bad. <laughs> it's always fun to, yeah. to retinue for the Out of Kingdom royalty, because you get to meet some cool people. Yeah. 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 And those kind of connections are really fun to make. Yeah. And then you then you have a place to go visit. That's yeah, true. Do you, uh, do, you uh, do Out of Kingdom wars and, and events at all? We've only ever been to the one Avacal coronation for, and it was for Arnsron and Inga for obvious reasons. And, um, and then we've been to, I've been to like Ontier West and I went to Australia once. Okay, I think well, I've only been to Ontier West like three times. The reason why you guys went to um, uh, Arnsborn and Inga's coronation is obvious for me, but it's not obvious. Oh yeah. Because so um, why? Yeah, Arnsbjorn is George's knight, so that's why we had to go to that. We didn't have to, but we wanted to, and it was a super fun road trip because we only had Christian at the time, and he's still easily packable at the time, and he was actually a pretty good road trip, baby. He didn't freak out too much. That's and it was that, that's fun. impressive. Yeah, we almost died at Avacal Coronation. <laughs> Not really, but. It, a storm came in and it was a little bit scary because I'd never been in that bad of a storm but then it was like gone in like a half hour I was like we're gonna drown <laughs> that wasn't the same event I was at was it I don't know I don't think so it was it was the one that Arnsdor and Inga got crowned at I don't No, this was before Avacal was a kingdom so oh, I was yeah. I was also at an Avicalian event uh up in Athabasca that uh, I ended up with like two feet of water in my tent and oh my gosh it was an epic epic storm uh, Eric and and Drifina were king and queen Ooh, now there's thunder Ooh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> good grief do you have um designs on on peerage do you have a pelican I don't is that something that you'd be interested in probably I think that'd be I think it would be pretty cool. I mean, I've talked to a couple people, but then we've been in a lull. <laughs> so that doesn't help anything. Um, when you're kind of shopping around for a peer like that, what are what are you thinking about? What are what are your kind of qualifications? Um, well, the the one person I was talking to, like, we're I'm friends with her. We're friendly with each other, but we haven't we're not really close. So I feel like. I'd be more like respectful of that mentorship because it's like, Haha, you're just my pelican. But like, you're my pelican. Yes, ma'am. I will do as you say kind of thing. 
but also I'm I'm I'd be okay with it being a friend too but like I feel like we'd have to adjust a little bit to like okay I need to be respectful at certain times and then be a weirdo with you later kind of a thing and and that is an accurate description of what being a peer is like too right there's there's times that you can be goofy and there are times that you have to be respectful yes (laughs) so that's good training in and of itself yeah that's why I was kind of talking to someone who like yeah we're we're friends but we're not like super close friends so I feel like I'd be able to like respect them the mentor student relationship a little bit better at certain times it's fascinating to me what what uh works for different people because everybody's you know everybody's relationship is different yeah um what uh what kind of expectations um do you have or are you hoping to have for are you like a person who likes to get checklists or or are you a person who wants to just have support and do your own thing or I don't know I'm very much a do it and find see what happens kind of person because I've got ADHD really bad so even if I make a checklist I'll just be like what is this (laughs) so I just kind of I just kind of do it and like doing the behind the scenes service is my favorite kind I'd really love to learn how to like coordinate court even though I feel like that would be terrifying but I think it would be fun and I also think that um being like ahead of retinue would be fun I have a lot of stuff I'd have to learn before I am one, but <laughs> that's, that's my, I don't really have a goal to be a peer, but I have a goal to like, at least run a court or run a retinue for a reign. I think that would be a really fun goal to achieve is to be a court coordinator or a head of retinue. Cause I want, I want to, I want, I really want to go to other kingdoms. So doing that, with my crown would be awesome (laughs) you do get a lot of travel in when you um take on a job like that yeah because like i would really i like i've never been to like the east i'd love to go east with my king and queen that'd be great we the whole reason we went to Australia was because we went with eric and trafina when they were reigning so traveling i want to travel (laughs) i've never left the west coast (laughs) is there a particular event that you're interested in penzik obviously (laughs) because that's like the biggest event ever that would just be so cool to go to (laughs) see all that different stuff and then maybe maybe one in lockhack would be cool too i don't know what event in lockhack but I want to go to an event in Lockhack just to be like, yeah, while I was in Australia, I went to an event. <laughs> that's that's definitely on my bucket list um, because the people are so great down there. Um, and w- they have Rowany and then what's there's one in New Zealand, like Market Market Week or something. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. New Zealand too, not just Australia. Yeah. That's that's more of an arts and sciences yeah. focused event. I don't think. I want to say there's no fighting at it, but I might be totally wrong. Oh, even when there's, they say there's no fighting at the event, there's usually fighting at the event. Well, here there is. That's true. <laughs> um, so what kind of a relationship? Oh, Canterbury Fair, someone. Uh, Shane says it's Canterbury Fair. Thank that you, we're Shane. Talking about. Thanks, Shane. <laughs> um, and Andromaca says Drakenwald is a good kin- kingdom to go to as well. So Where's that? Uh, that's that's oh, everywhere. That's South Africa. Yeah. South Africa, Europe. Um Well, yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> right? I got a passport. Let's go. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to go to an event in a real castle? Yeah. That would be super cool. Um, when you do, when you said earlier that you did ANS stuff, what kind of, uh, what ANS things interest you? What are your geeks? Uh, one of the, one of the things I made, like, I haven't done it since I was like a little, little kid, like preteen kid. Um, I made a perfume and that was pretty cool. 
Some people say that I should get back into ANS and do period makeup. That would be fun. Yeah, and get my laurel and period makeup. But <laughs> I'm like that that that'd be a lot, but I could I could probably do it. I'm sure I could figure that out. It it kind of uh, could combine the uh, potion making and uh, your makeup tutorials. I think that would be uh, excellent. And there's a lot of research and information out there too. Yeah, and like the research on poison makeup sounds awesome because let's let's poison our friends with our makeup. Yeah, because we don't like them. <laughs> I totally want to. I like and that's not me being sarcastic. That is something I do definitely want to like one day sit down and do some research on that was just the plot of this week's my life is murder what is that is that a podcast oh, it's, or something it's a, a lucy lawless um show oh yeah lucy <laughs> lawless has a show yeah on acorn but, but I, I digress <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is that is something that i would like seriously like to sit down and do research on when i don't have a thousand kids running around so in a few years. Yeah. 18 or something. I don't know. <laughs> Probably a decade. I mean, they, they get pretty yeah. and then after 10. Okay. It, it'll go by faster than you, than you know. Yeah. And you'll get what? gray and you'll be like, what happened? Oh no. <laughs> Mine turns 18 this month and it's like, what? Your oldest or your youngest? My oldest. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's weird. So anyway so uh what kind of challenges have you had uh transitioning into being a family at events instead of being just a couple at events mostly just the time management like okay i'm gonna go fight how how many pickups are you gonna do before and after because i'd like to have a break to go see my friends at some point too <laughs> not that my friends don't want to see my kids but i'd like to go and hang out with my friends without my kids for a little bit but because thankfully my friends love my kids so <laughs> but that's 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 the big thing is the okay who's gonna have the kids and who's gonna go do what getting that balance yeah. yeah but we seem to figure it out and then we're gonna have to relearn how to figure it out if we ever get to go to events again because <laughs> three my mom our mom used to say that three exponentially changes everything yeah yeah the <laughs> second one the second one was like okay i know what i'm doing and then the third one came and i'm like what are we doing <laughs> they outnumber you now yeah they outnumber us now and i'm like this, this other one needs to go back to school because <laughs> he's driving me nuts <laughs> but eh, i love him anyway you, but just the just the time management is really Otherwise, they went to bed easy. I mean, I can't really remember eventing much with Thomas because we've been in a pandemic over half his life now, I think. So he just turned three. Yep. Yeah. So so I, I don't really remember doing events with him. I think the last the last event he was at was Ursulmus and we live like 10 minutes from Ursulmus. So when they got rowdy and tired, I just went home. <laughs> That's a luxury. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't even think we camped a, a whole lot that year. The only event I can remember camping at after he was born was our household event at Drifa's. Mm -hmm. That's the only one I can remember him being at. How did you get interested in um, Viking? George was a Viking and was making my garb. So I had to have Viking garb because that's what he knew how to make. And then I realized I looked good in it. So I was like, okay, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> and then we were old enough for him to compete in crown. So I was like, okay, if he's going to compete in crown, maybe I should have a more serious name and a more serious persona-esque type thing. And so I got the Norse name and got nice Norse garb that matches his and well, mostly matches his armor. We don't really have matching garb, 
but I have garb that goes with his armor. <laughs> Priorities. Yes. <laughs> so that when he's fighting, they're like, I obviously am inspiring that man there. I keep pointing the stairs because that's where he is, and it feels weird. <laughs> But yeah, and then and then I just look nice in Norse. I was like, okay, I look nice and I look like an adult and I don't look like a weirdo. So plus, I I think that we underestimate the importance of feeling cute in in your garb. Yeah, and I think a lot of times we put new people in just like a big sack <laughs> that doesn't make anyone feel special or feel pretty, and uh, you kind of lose them. And I think it's really important to to have somebody that or, or for you to make garb that makes you feel pretty it's super yeah. important and the thing with norse garb is it's not only is it cute it's comfortable and it's warm because i have worn some uncomfortable garb before i mean bodices are sometimes way too tight what were you into before george like well i did arts and sciences when i was like a preteen and then when i was a teenager i did the fencing and then and then really it was just the chasing george it's <laughs> like i met him when i was 15 so okay yeah so, so go, ahead. go ahead what, what it was what just the following of, him around what kind <laughs> of clothes were you wearing um i belly danced with my mom every once in a while at events so sometimes i was wearing some turkish garb and then when i was fencing i had like like a French tunic kind of thing that I wore for fencing and I wore that sometimes because when I was fencing I was really into I wanted to be I wanted to have a French persona and my name was Dominica Didymus de Dalle I even have it on a scroll back here it, it was ridiculous it was ridiculous awesome. that is awesome, awesome. yeah <laughs> I love I love seeing how people um, evolve in the SCA, and so I love hearing your name before that because I've never known you as anything but Holadora. Oh yeah, so Dominica tell, Didymus de Dalle. Love it. Tell me more about belly dancing with your mom. Do we have to? <laughs> <She's watching. laughs> well, we did a lot of like Aquaterra has like a couple of feasts, so it was mostly like at feasts because that's part of her persona is her persona has a it involves her belly dancing so it was mostly making her look good and i know she's watching but like that's what it was <laughs> <laughs> i made i was there to make mom look good and be part of the troupe that's super cool though yes but it's obviously not something you fell in love with uh no Okay. I used to love it and then like it was just it's just something I grew out of because she's been belly dancing since I was a baby so okay. like I think before my brother was born that's kind of cool did did uh did she have mentors and um like troop members that kind of that you grew up with that were sort of like aunties in the SCA they weren't in the SCA they were mostly in the belly dance community um, I mean there are some of her friend of her her SCA family that belly dancing in the SCA, but um, most of the belly dancers that I grew up with were solely part of the belly dance community and not really in the SCA. One of That's the a whole other environment. <laughs> one of the things that a lot of sec second gen people talk about is sort of transitioning from your role as a child to an adult in the SCA and how um, other people either accept that or don't accept that. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Did you experience anything like that? Just in Aquaterra, some of the Aquaterrans are still like, hey, Corey, I need you to come do this thing. And I'm like, I'm doing something else right now. Can you wait? But you're the teenager. I need you. It's like, no, I'm 30 right now and I'm doing something else. <laughs> <laughs> but thankfully, like, while being when like after I started dating George and we started going to events people never really saw him as a kid so all the people I met dating him didn't really see me as a kid so that part's kind of nice is that I met quite a few of the SCA family as adults even if we were young adults so I didn't have too much of a transition to go through 
but yeah like a lot of the people who like my mom's friends with and stuff still see me as like a kid and I'm like no I'm 30 and they just kind of have to step back and go oh yeah you're 30 I can't talk to you like that anymore (laughs) (laughs) it's it's a it's a weird transition um I watched Eric grow up and um when he was a teenager people thought it was really fun to like tell him that they had you know done embarrassing things with him when he was a baby I changed your diaper <laughs> yeah well I wasn't gonna say it but yeah and um, I'd say it and uh there was a moment at um a 12th night that we went to um where he saw Sam who was then t- as tall as him and he looked at him my son and he looked at him and he was like I get it now I knew that kid when he was tiny and now he's as big as me and it's weird. <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a thing. Have you um, watched uh, kids grow up into an adult in the SCA that, that that's been kind of trippy for you? Have you seen the other side of that coin, I guess is what I'm asking. I mean, I sort of remember Tiernan and Miranda's sons being babies and now they're teenagers. and I'm just like, that's kind of crazy but I'm not like close with them right and I don't live by them so I only see them every great once in a while and I'm just kind of like they got tall (laughs) it's almost worse when you don't see them very often because it's like holy. last time I saw you you were this big what happened (laughs) and they like don't know you at all because they were so little (laughs) yeah exactly and they're like who is this person talking to me exactly (laughs) oh Growing up in the SCA is fun. Totally. I wasn't even born in it. I just kind of got in it. But I like it. So you mentioned a brother. Does he play in the SCA still? No. When he was old enough to like stay home on the weekends, he stayed home. The la- the So like he stopped going to events when he was like 14. And the last event he went to was july coronation that george got knighted and he only went because george got knighted his girlfriend kind of wants to play but she also kind of doesn't she's like i want to but i don't want to (laughs) start playing and then you get sucked in yeah Yeah, i don't i don't think she wants to get sucked in when she's got other things going on yeah but she had they both had a great time at that event and honestly that event was probably the best event for them to be at was because their their brother-in-law was getting knighted and we got to have the cool party at the pit house (laughs) because we just got lucky enough that he got knighted at the event that happened to be where our household has their event talk about the pit house a little bit what do you want to know about the pit house i mean i don't know much about it because i've only been there twice but you guys have like a whole week, like, and you guys call it vacation, right? Yeah. Like talk about that a little bit because it's immersive. And I think a lot of people don't um, do that and just. So like, wait, I've only gone like the two times. <laughs> so they, we work on, they work, they work on the house. Cause some, cause like, it's not like a house house. So it needs to be kept up so it doesn't fall apart, you know? And they have that we have like a couple of period nights where we dress period, we eat period. And that's about all I really know about it. Do you, you enjoy cooking for those or like what, what's your role? I was pregnant and breastfeeding both times I've been oh. up there. So I did a lot of sitting around and taking care of the baby. Okay. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. And, and also legit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I had a fun time, but I did. I don't. I don't feel like I really got to really experience the real vacation because I was pregnant and then breastfeeding the next year. But well, it, yeah, but it's still pretty cool. It's super interesting because I mean, obviously you you didn't participate, but I mean, they even I think one year went and found a rock and made a rune stone and. Yeah, like, they, yeah. So yeah, they went down to the river and got a big rock and brought it back up to camp. And Drifa's husband carves on it, and Inga, I think, carved a couple of them too. 
yeah so pretty fun to have the yeah. the opportunity to have land to do that on yeah because it's Jirfa's family's property so yeah, it's beautiful I wish I could tell you more about it but I've only got to go the two times and I was severely limited <laughs> <laughs> You want to look at pictures? Should we look at some of the pictures? We can look at pictures, yeah. Share my screen. Oh, I need you to enable me. Oh, geez. I'm sorry. I got you shackled. Yeah, I'm shackled over here. There you go. Right. Is Misty yeah. usually in charge and today Don's in charge? Uh, no, no, we switch off. I just, um, we are not as uh, prepared and organized as we usually are today. Oh my goodness. We apologize for that. So tell me about this picture. Let's hit Ursula Miss. And that's probably like one of the last events my brother was at. It looks like we're running lists for something, I think. <laughs> it looks like you're sitting gate. <laughs> yeah. It's like before they put all that stuff in place. <laughs> yeah, I think we were, I think we were, helping the list mistress it does look like that did did you do, were you um as a child like a, one of the list runners like oh yeah um, one of the the people that i would thank yeah <laughs> basically how i was raised in the sta before i found my own things to do was my mom was like okay we're at we're at an event with a tournament you're gonna go run lists oh we're at a feast you're gonna be a feast runner because my mom's like you're gonna have something to do and not go get into trouble <laughs> Well, I, I think that's important. I mean, not just for kids, for anybody, yeah. because when, when you are um, invested in it, you, you stick you around. Know, yeah. You stick around and, and you feel like you have a purpose. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think we were running lists and it was just between, between like rounds. So we were just sitting and looking at it. <laughs> See, this is this not an SA picture, but it was yes. too cute. Not and you look so much like your son's here that I had to put it in anyway. Yeah, that's that's a, a friend of my mom's property. I think she was friends with her in high school or something. But I do remember where that picture was taken. I think it's a, one of my mom's friend's properties. So cute. I think I'm eight. Uh -huh. Oh, my that, goodness. Yeah. Belly dance outfit. Yeah. That's one of our, like, probably one of our first camping events. I couldn't tell you what it was. But I do know I'm like barely six in that picture. And my brother is barely three in that picture. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys know Sean McGurn at all, but that's Sean McGurn. My my husband knows Sean McGurn. I, yeah. I don't know him very well, but I think he lived with us for a while when I was a little kid. Not I think. I don't I don't remember. Yeah, I think I'm like barely six in that picture. <laughs> that's me and George, and I'm pregnant with Christian in that picture. Because I remember that event, sort of. Yeah, I'm just barely showing with Christian in that picture. And this, I think George got put on vigil the next day after this event, and I'm pregnant with Thomas in this picture. Wow, and speaking of Todd and, or Tiernan and Miranda, there's... Yeah, there's one of them right there, isn't it? I think that's Luke, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the same May crown in my hat. That's a cool hat. What is that? It's not period, but it's a it's like a Norse hat that my friend knitted. That's really cool. Yeah. I mean, it's it's based off a period hat, but that one's not period. I bet you could do that with null binding though. Yeah. yeah, I think I think she did do that. There's a comfy hat. And that's me and Drafina. She's hauling me up there. And I got my AOA that day. Awesome. So she and Eric gave you your AOA? They did. That's because they realized I was, I'd been in the SCA like 20 years and didn't have one. Aww. So they gave me one. <laughs> so, so let's talk about your festoon a little bit because it's, it's orange and, um, and I know that you love pumpkins and yeah, Halloween. that's just fun. Yeah, I have two now. <laughs> Talk about your fascination with pumpkins and. Well, I'm born in October, okay. So 
I'm very much an October child and I love Halloween. <laughs> so even my device, which is passed, has a pumpkin on it. It's awesome. So that I have a piece, like a true piece of me on my device. It used to have a bat, but for whatever reason, the heraldry just doesn't like bats when I try to get them passed. So I put a goat on there just to see what would happen. And it, and it went through. <laughs> Do you, uh, do you like to have pumpkin pie for your birthday? I actually hate pumpkin pie. Ah. And I don't like pumpkin spice lattes either. I like pumpkin spice chai tea, but I don't like pumpkin spice lattes. But yeah, that's this festoon right here. And it's just, and it's amber beads that my mom got me for Christmas. And then the glass Norse beads are in Georgia's colors because my mom got them for me for Christmas and my mom knew my husband's colors but she didn't know mine <laughs> thanks mom yeah <laughs> whoops I went too far and I'm super pregnant with Thomas in that picture Aww. and that's at George's nighting and I had been crying two seconds beforehand because I, I didn't I didn't know that Christian and Helene were gonna were gonna knight him I thought Dal and Savick were gonna do it and then Christian snuck behind me and like interrupted them and was like please crown us first before you knight this man so that we can do it and I was just like oh my god Aww. I love that everybody wore red and yellow for it that's awesome yes because those are those are George's colors so <laughs> awesome and you made that and you made that panel I yes. did make that panel <laughs> And that's me and my mom Aww. at like probably one of, I don't know what event it is, probably Ursula Miss. Oops, what did I do? Oh, I, yeah, I think it's Ursula Miss. That's me and my mommy. Oops. Are you wearing I, like, a pink tag? What is that? I think it's some kind of like household brand kind of thing. Like a, if I get lost, take me this way. <laughs> And that's so, George's shield. I put that in because that's sort of your device. Yeah. And George did all of um, these knightly virtues and your compassion. So tell me why your compassion. I have no idea. You don't know? Oh, <laughs> uh, probably because I, I, I guess I'm a pretty compassionate person. Sometimes I, I care for others and I, try to make that obvious like hey I love you and I guess he thought I was good enough for that well not good enough but that I was worthy of that virtue okay <laughs> he thinks you exemplify that yes, virtue. yes. okay <laughs> I don't think I deserve it but I'm like okay <laughs> thanks for the love he married you so you know yeah. Oh, that must be the last picture. So I will stop sharing screen. Yeah, apparently I am worthy to be on the shield of awesome. I don't know. More than worthy. You exemplify that. Yeah. Well, I'm his wife. So, I mean. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. He put me on there and I was just like, you want me on there? Cool. <laughs> of course he does. I, I know, but it was still a little surprising. <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about being an inspiration to a, a fighter in Crown? Because um, I've never really, well, I, I do, I do do that, but I also fight. So it's never like um, my sole focus. So I'm always interested in um, people's perspectives when that is their focus. Well, when, when he's fighting, I make sure that like I'm, right there where he can see me so that he has that okay I'm fighting for you you're right there you're watching me because he's fighting for me so I probably should be watching I'm gonna be a little honest and like I find it incredibly annoying I mean you're fighting so it's different but like I find it incredibly annoying sometimes when you're supposed to be somebody's inspiration and you're not really paying attention to your fighter that drives me crazy <laughs> if I'm being perfectly honest especially when it comes to like big crown big tournaments like crown i mean it's different 
for for Rifkin, in my opinion, because she's also fighting in Crown. Well, I I um I must confess that maybe sometimes to my detriment, I always make sure I am there for my fighters' fight. Yeah, like I notice when like when you're done, you go and you watch your fighter. Um, but like. I make sure I'm watching him. I make sure that he gets water. I make sure he has a snack and somewhere to sit when he needs to sit down when he's done fighting or like in between fighting. I make sure he takes off his helmet and breathes because he'll just leave his helmet on and then be exhausted. I'm like, hey, you need to take your helmet off, have some water. (laughs) I know you need to stay warm, but you can take your helmet off. Everybody has, you know, their different relationships. I get what you're saying. Um, what what does it mean to you, though, to be fought for? Like, um, it makes me feel super special. Like, you you you're gonna go and fight in this tournament and like make me queen. You you think I can handle that? What? <laughs> and like, every couple of years, he he gets pretty far in crown, not just out in the two. And I'm just like, what are you doing? <laughs> It, it makes me feel super special that he that he thinks that I am fitting and able to take on that kind of responsibility, like being queen of freaking Ontir, one of the biggest kingdoms in the SA. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> Has he fought for you uh, since you've had kids? Yeah. Has that changed the dynamic at all for the two of you? No, it just makes me paying attention to him while he's fighting a little bit harder. <laughs> yeah. If anything. Because <laughs> I have to take care of them while he's fighting. So sometimes I might, like, I know for I know I've missed a fight here and there. But otherwise. But when, you, when you're talking about people that annoy you because they're not paying attention it's not people that are taking care of their kids right it's it's people that are actually on the erics talking and not paying attention yeah yeah because i i know like like Like, i don't want to be like judgy but i'm just like no i this guy's fighting for you with crown he wants to make you queen i feel like you should go pay attention to that (laughs) i I think i i one of the reasons we have you on here is because we want your opinion and it's valid um um and I, and I get that, you know, sometimes when, when I'm just like, dude, he's right there and you're like, Woo. yeah, uh, we're like out shopping or something. You no, know, um, my, my husband, when, when I used to fight, <clears throat> him, used to do that to me all the time. And I'd be like, Dave, I'm right here. I'm on the field. I'm about to fight, you know, and just lock eyes with me. Yes. Um, <laughs> but if he wasn't there at all, like if I knew he was back in camp, take, taking care of my kid or whatever, like it wouldn't bother me. <laughs> yeah you know um so i i totally get where you're coming from get that um astrid wants to know how do you make it work with kids and a husband and still manage to support your partner as an inspiration i just kind of like we're gonna we're gonna go watch daddy fight and like christian loved going watch and fighting like especially when he was a baby and those like first couple of like tournaments we went to he was a baby the sound of fighting put him to sleep so it was super easy to just carry the sleeping baby over to like our our George's Eric and like watch the baby, like hold the baby and watch George, not watch the baby and carry George. But um, <laughs> that, I, that's what I almost said. <laughs> and that I can't, I, I couldn't really tell you what happened the second time around because I honestly can't really remember events at all with Thomas because that was so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long time ago. I was trying to think yeah. of like most people's last event was probably Ursulness twenty. Yeah, that was my last event. Um, I know some people went to ANS, um, but after ANS, everything shut down. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's it, you know it's been almost two years. Yeah. Yeah. We we but, we we usually just I take I remember taking the kids. To go watch dad fight because they wanted to watch dad fight and then sometimes my mom is at events and she doesn't really want to watch the heavy fighting all that much so sometimes i think she took christian probably a couple of times during crown tournaments mm-hmm. so that i could focus on george so that's a nice thing about having my mom being in the sca is we like 
oh, you're bored and you want to take the kid, go for it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's huge. Having family uh, that can support you is a really big deal. Yeah, as Shaxi yeah. um, did that for me uh, numerous, numerous, numerous times <laughs> um, when my, my child was a lot younger. Yes. Um, so let's talk about um, sort of staying connected to the SCA during COVID. Um, how have you done that? If you've done it. Watching your videos. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I've done, a, and I've been in a couple of like Zoom meetings with you guys that weren't live. And that's about it. It's just kind of talking we learned, to you guys in Zoom. and We learned you're a good dancer. Yeah. You were in that dance video. Yeah, I was in that dance video <laughs> that you, you guys put together. So I was like, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> and that's about it. Is I, I did the dance video and I've been with you guys in like a couple, a couple of a handful of Zoom meetings. And I've watched probably 75% of the sister interviews. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Whose story did you like the most? My friends is. <laughs> I liked watching Helen's and Eric's and Christian's. Okay, Lachlan's. Lachlan's was probably the most entertaining. He, he was pretty, um, yeah. pretty fun. Because Lachlan is one of my favorite people. Because he's he's just a character. I love Lachlan. It was super fun. That was yeah, a fun interview. Yeah, and then I watched some of the one of just the two of you today because I was telling a friend outside of the essay, I was like, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm getting ready for an interview. She's like, you're doing what? <laughs> <laughs> so I sent her, I sent her one and it was just the one of just you two talking to each other. And she was just like, well, that's cool. Aw, <laughs> yeah. she didn't say that's super weird. No, well, because like, <laughs> I home. tell her about SCA all the time. So she was just like, well, that's cool that you guys are doing that to have something to do while you can't do events. That's yeah. that's really smart of them. So yeah, so my friend outside of the SCA was like, they're awesome for doing that. Aww. What? Uh, nothing. I, I was trying to decide if you were going to ask something or if I was going to go do it. You do it. I'll do it. This um, is my show. As the SCA moves forward, is there anything you would like to see happen? Like, um, if we're still stuck sort of in limbo of doing sort of events and not real events, like, is there anything creative that you've thought of that you're like, we should be doing this? I feel like we should have a lot more virtual courts, even if it's just like a social court. Just a, hey, we're here, love you guys, kind of thing. I'd like to see a little bit more of that if we're still stuck in this pandemic. A little more connection. Yeah. I would love that too. Um, a couple of the baronies uh, that I have connection to have been doing, you know, socials and, and things like that. Well, yeah, I guess I have done some like tea socials with the Aqua, with Aquaterra's Baroness. Right, right. But it would be cool to see that at, at, on a kingdom level too, because I, I think all three of us are primarily kingdom level players and not, you know, super attached to our baronies. And that's been an adjustment. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to say that. I'm like, cause we're all kingdom level players. It's, it's been weird. Um, and I'm like, well, maybe I should get more in a baronial level. Like, no. Yeah. I think if you, if you count, if you count the, these online socials as events, then I've done more Aquaterra events in the last year and a half than I have done in the, like the last 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and I think, I know we're interviewing you, <laughs> but I think that um, as we navigate things like global warming and, and things like, you know, we're in a plague, <laughs> that being more focused locally where people aren't traveling and interacting with people in person outside their area is probably safer and better for the planet. And I think it would be cool to have the royalty travel 
to more local things rather than try to get everybody to gather in one big place. It just feels like that would be safer. That could be a thing. Or maybe, you know, even just a transitional thing. Um, yeah. Until, yeah. Until it is safe to have our 2000 person events that we all love because, you know, that's what we've been doing for the last 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't mean forever, but, no, but yeah. Yeah. yeah I, Cause I know it's, I know it's like not feasible to like get 800 people in a zoom call that ain't gonna happen mm -hmm. but like just a like a like go live every once in a while hey we're thinking of you guys kind of thing i'm down with that yeah for, okay so we have another another question from astrid thank you astrid you're asking great questions she says for someone that has seen it all over the years what keeps bringing excitement to your game oh i i just love what, like being at like a crown event and like watching someone that you care a lot about like go far in an event and then like win and you're just like yeah that's my friend oh <laughs> like I always feel that way both time Eric's ever won both times Christian's won and when when Sven fought for you at that last May crown I was like yeah almost <laughs> almost so close yeah i think that is one of the coolest things about the sda is how um excited we get for one another's successes yeah um i i love that about us and um you know everybody's been watching ted lasso and they love how um the women support each other in that show and the men support each other and and just the relationships. And I, I keep thinking, I'm like, well, that's sort of what we have in real life. Yeah. Um, we have a very supportive group where the women don't stab each other in the back, at least up in our kingdom. I know that people in other kingdoms have told us different. Um, but, uh, and I just think that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's a culture of lifting each other up, which um, I think is incredibly valuable. Yeah. yeah. And, and not even and not even just the watching my friends like in crown like i remember at that same may crown Driffa was put on vigil to become a laurel at that may crown i was like that's my friend yeah and like, <laughs> just, like either getting either winning crown or being recognized and becoming a peer i get excited when my when my friends succeed even if it wasn't like even a goal they were really knew they were trying to get to, but they were just recognized for being awesome. And I'm just like, yay. <laughs> yeah, it's super cool. Yeah. Well, I um, that's part of why we're doing the uh, the live streaming of, of uh, Crown on Saturday is because oh, yeah. we really want people to have that opportunity to cheer their people on and to and to kind of feel a part of that um again because i think we all really miss it i like yeah that was like the one thing i like have been missing is like the adrenaline that everybody around the eric seems to have during the finals of crown is it's it's just one of those feelings that it just feels great everybody feels good even if they're not the ones fighting everybody is like fighting you know it's like one of my favorite things and i miss that feeling so much when we're all just right there on the one eric waiting and we're all just like <gasps> during every little thing that happens you know we all like take that breath at the same time when it when something happens i miss that so much I go ahead I just one of the things that I love about on here is that um, during our finals, like we actually have people around the fighting field, like a lot of people there, yeah. like five deep and it's totally quiet because everyone's yeah. in except for like that <gasps> right. like it, every like once in a while, you know, right. And I'm hoping um, that the, this virtual feed sort of um, fosters that in a different way and that people really interact with it um, yeah. the way that you guys have sort of solicited um, with sending in pictures of, you know, them and whoever's colors or I mean, whatever. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how that turns out. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah we would love to have um, people use the hashtags that um, my apprentice is kind of organizing the tech part of it. Um, and uh, so he's encouraging people, uh, RevSkeg, uh, to use some hashtags and, and um, kind of interact with each other that way. And then we're going to be using StreamYard instead of Zoom. Not StreamYard. Yeah. It's StreamYard. Yeah. Okay. There's there's two that we've played with the last couple of weeks and my head is, which is why Reskeg is doing the tech because I can't, I can't do it. Um, and that um, as we're talking, like right now, all we can see is each other on Zoom, but uh, StreamYard allows you to see the comments that are made on all the different platforms that you're streaming to as you're talking to each other. So everybody that's on in the room can see what everybody who's watching says. And so we'll be able to, to comment, we'll be able to pull a comment up and put it on the screen. Cool. Um, so everybody can read it and talk about it. Um, so we're really, really hoping it's going to be a long day for Antonio and I. <laughs> we're, we're really hoping to have uh, some prompts and some help um, in, you know, questions that people have. Um, I don't know why this turned into a promo for Saturday. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with it. <laughs> okay. <Keep waiting. laughs> but we also, we also want to be able to educate people. You know, if you have a question about how lists are run, about why people are lining up the way they're lining up or whatever, um, we want to talk about that too. So is it still going to be like on YouTube or something? It's going to be on the kingdom webpage, the kingdom YouTube page, the sis or the kingdom um, Facebook page. And then it'll cool. be on the sisters Facebook page and the sister or Rifkin's uh, YouTube page. So it'll yeah, all I follow Rifkin on YouTube. So yeah, it'll all be concurrent. So uh, none of them is going to come before the other. They'll all be the same time. I just want to watch it on my TV, not on my computer. <laughs> That's why they're doing that on all the different um, platforms so that whatever's easiest for people to cast. Yeah. I can put like Twitch and YouTube on my TV. I can't put Facebook on my TV. Yeah. We wanted to do Twitch too. Um, we just don't, the kingdom doesn't have a Twitch channel and you know, we haven't created a base for that yet. So I'm I, mean, I, I have a Twitch channel, but it's not like official or anything. Right. I, and yeah. I have one too, believe it or not, but I've never used it. So, yeah. um, I think we're going to just hold off on Twitch for now and someday and save that for next time, because I think it's an important, um, I think it's something that it's an opportunity we're missing. For recruitment. That's kind of how I feel about it. Yeah. It's a it's a major it's like it's a platform strictly for streaming, so that's why I asked. Yeah, yeah, I, I think we're uh, we're missing the boat then. Yeah, <laughs> pretty big time. So yeah. we'll have to we'll have to explore that. It um, is a whole platform strictly dedicated to streaming. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like on tier could make some really cool overlays for a Twitch channel too. I don't know how to do that, but I feel like we could make some neat ones. When you say overlay, what is that? Well, like, like graphics. Yeah. So like the, 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 so like the chat channel could have like the onto your lion behind it or something kind of thing. Or like in each corner there's lions or something yeah. that are, that aren't like part of the video, but like, are there because you like put a frame in the picture kind of a deal. So we have for, for the StreamYard thing, you can do that in StreamYard. And so we'll have a checky background and there'll be a little lion up in the corner. So nice. Woo! So that's happening. Branding. Thanks to I Izzy and, and, and Reskeg. They are, they are on that. So yeah. exciting. Yeah. You can make like totally cool, like even make the chat look cool. It's on Twitch and stuff like that. That is going to be really fun to explore. We're going to have to get on that. I don't know how to do that, but I know it can be done because I watch a lot of Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> I watch a lot of WoW streams and stuff like that. I think I might have a guy. Get on it. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> awesome. Well, is there anything that we haven't covered that you wanted to talk about tonight? I don't know. <laughs> I was, I was, I'm just here to bring entertainment <laughs> <laughs> and talk about my life in 
Yes, yeah. And I did that. I feel like I feel like we got that down. <laughs> Do you have a favorite um no shit there I was story? Like a favorite funny story in the essay? I do, but it's about Eric and I don't know if I wanna like talk about it without his permission, but it's really funny. <laughs> all I all, all I'll say is that he was king at the time and it was on, on Share West and it was pretty funny. <laughs> I thought he was hurt and he wasn't. That's that's all I'm gonna say without Eric's permission. Well, I might have to hear that story in private then. Yeah, it, <laughs> I I thought it was pretty funny, and it's mostly just between me and Eric because nobody else was really around. But uh, so if it gets out, he knows it was you. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, <laughs> well, we all love Eric, so yes, we would be laughing in love. So. I love that guy so much. I miss him. <laughs> I miss everybody. <laughs> us too us too well should we wrap it up yeah i guess we should um if if there isn't you know something we missed that you really want to talk about um i I wouldn't know and i'm not seeing any questions Um, questions. we do not have anyone scheduled for next week and even though we haven't talked about it i'm gonna give us next week off oh (laughs) because um unless whoever wins crown is dying to get get interviewed right away or something That's but I, I think yeah. after traveling and after I, I think a break might be okay we, i'll we allow would, it we would like to um and and our goal is to get um the pair that win crown on it either the week after or the week after the week after yeah. um, um but that will really depend on who wins and whether they're willing yeah. that's our goal yep <laughs> and, and people are saying that we should take some time off so yes <laughs> they're sick of us thank you <laughs> take a break especially especially after you do that whole long stream this weekend i think you deserve it because yeah. you're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff yeah yeah it's going to be fun i'm so looking forward to it yes yeah i'm really hoping that um we're able to create fun for people and a feeling of community. That's the goal. Yeah. So that's gonna be a big thing. So I think take a break. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in on Saturday. It's gonna be fun. I I fully plan on sitting here in in a in a Sporta Kings t shirt with snacks. And pom poms for your favorites. Pom-poms. <laughs> and uh, that links are posted on the on tier Facebook group and I think they're on the sisters page. I think Reskeg put them up on the sisters page. Um, and then uh, the like the go live video is coming in two days thing is up on both YouTube channels too. So it should be really easy to find. So come hang out. YouTube page. <laughs> yep. well, thank you so much for talking to us and for telling us about growing up in the SCA and raising kids in the SCA. Um, Thanks for having me. Yeah. And it's just so great to see your face and talk to you for an hour and a half. Yay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thanks everyone for joining us. Uh, We will see you next time.